The Bible says that for a three-hour period, while Jesus hung on the cross, there was an uncanny darkness. The Gospel writer Matthew spoke of it, saying, From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came over all the land. Surely, say modern-day critics of Christianity, that didn't really happen. Are they right? You decide. In AD 52, Samaritan historian Thales wrote a history of the Eastern Mediterranean world. Although his work has been lost, it was quoted by Julius Africanus in his five-volume History of the World, written in roughly AD 221. He wrote, Thales, in the third book of histories, explains away the darkness as an eclipse of the sun. But that couldn't be. For one thing, a solar eclipse lasts only a few minutes, not three hours. For another, Jesus was crucified during the Hebrew Passover, which always falls on a full moon. And solar eclipses don't occur when there is a full moon. But this fact remains, the words of 3rd century A.D. writer Africanus confirm that an early non-biblical account supports the Bible's claims that there was indeed an inexplicable darkness while Jesus hung on the cross. Christian scholar Tertullian, who lived from 160 to 220 A.D., wrote that this midday darkness was a cosmic or world event, witnessed presumably by people in Rome, Athens, and other Mediterranean cities. He challenged his non-Christian adversaries with these words, The light departed from the sun, and the land was darkened at noonday, which wonder is related in your own annals and is preserved in your archives to this day. Greek historian Philogon agreed. Shortly after 137 AD, he reported that in the fourth year of the 202nd Olympiad, which would have been 33 AD, the date of Jesus' crucifixion, quote, it became night in the sixth hour of the day, in other words, noon, so that stars even appeared in the heavens. So who's right? Unbelieving contemporary critics, 2,000 plus years removed from the event? Or should we consider Tertullian, who wrote of it in approximately 200 AD? Or the Greek historian Philogon, who identified the exact year and time of day in his account penned in 137 AD? Or might we consider Matthew, who was an eyewitness of this mysterious darkness? And two companions of the apostles, Mark and Luke, all of whom wrote their accounts sometime between 50 and 70 AD. The point is this. Over the years, unbelieving opponents of Christianity have criticized the miraculous account of the noonday darkness that occurred while Jesus hung on the cross. Other than the biblical accounts, which they categorically reject, critics have said there's no evidence to support such a claim. As we have clearly shown, that's not true. So if you or any Christian has been led to adopt the biblical account, we say this, do not believe those so far removed from the event over those who witnessed it or wrote of it scant years after the event. Their rejection is not based on facts. It's based solely on a refusal to consider the miraculous and a clear rejection of the facts.